It's March 3rd, 2023. I'm Todd Dunn, and this is day three after total knee replacement. I'm going to take a minute or two and just talk about how things are going and what's been going on. And then I'll uh, set the camera up and show you a couple of things. First, um, I have minimal pain. Right now I'm taking a Tylenol every six hours, 500 milligram Tylenol or acetaminophen, and a 200 milligram ibuprofen every six hours with an offset so that I'm taking a pill every three hours. That's it. That's my pain control. And uh, right now I essentially have zero pain, which is amazing to me. Uh, either the nerve block they put in is doing overtime or uh, uh, I have an incredibly high pain tolerance or I actually have no pain really that the over-the-counter drugs are taking care of it and uh, it seems like that's what it is because it felt like the nerve block wore off on uh, day two the day I came home because that evening was pretty unpleasant after I got up the spiral staircase and into bed, uh, it was not a pleasant time, but I did manage to sleep most of the night. Now, yesterday was set up mostly with getting established as how we're going to do things here at home. And, uh, you know, getting around the house, walkers and, uh, you know, canes and things like that, and getting up and down the stairs with stuff. And, uh, and in and out of bed and all that. So uh, that it took a little time and I didn't shoot any video yesterday because I was just too caught up in details. The biggest issue that we had uh, yesterday was my chair that I'm sitting in right now. Now this is a typical recliner and I've got it tilted up pretty high right now so that my leg is more or less level with my heart so that I am not going to just have blood draining down into my leg and causing swelling. Now, yesterday I had the chair set at more or less its normal height, which is quite a bit lower with the feet quite a bit lower. And I was getting a lot of swelling uh, while I was just sitting here. And uh, that's not good. That made it much more difficult to do the exercises that I have to do. And, uh, you know, so I ended up going upstairs, lying down flat on my back with my foot elevated a little bit uh, so that the swelling would go down and icing a lot. So that's basically what I did yesterday. But I did manage to get in four rounds of the exercises I'm supposed to be doing. Now, there have been a couple things that have popped up. And I'll show you those when we move on to the second part of this video, just to show you what's going on. Now, today started out with a call uh, from the hospital to check in on me, make sure I'm still alive and how things are going. And they asked a lot of questions and we talked about a lot of things. So everything is, you know, working pretty well in that respect. Then after that, my visiting physical therapist showed up for the first visit. So today was mostly a paperwork visit. The physical therapist did, uh, measure uh, how straight I could get my leg and the amount of bend. But the bend measurement was done with me sitting on a very low sofa. And because of the length of my calf, I, I really couldn't bend my leg very much uh, simply because I was sitting too low. So we only got to a little over 70 degrees of bend, which is not that good. But I know I can go farther than that because I've been going farther than that in the exercises. What was more important was how much I could straighten the leg. Initially, with just my leg held out in front of me, uh, the therapist measured two degrees of deviation from perfectly straight. 
And he said, well, that's really good. I said, well, I can do better than that. And I promptly pulled up on my toe and pushed down with my knee and straightened my leg out perfectly to zero degrees. So uh, right now I'm getting all the uh, extension that I want in my leg. And I know that I'm getting to at least 90 degrees of bend because I have accomplished that uh, where I do my exercises, which is upstairs where I have a much higher platform to sit on and I can swing my leg further back. So anyway, uh, that went fairly quickly. Uh, mostly a lot of paperwork, a lot of questions, a look at the house to see what the different rooms, the bathrooms, etc., looked like and how difficult it was going to be for me to get around. Uh, largely for bureaucratic reasons. Now, next week, we're going to start the actual physical therapy visits where I will be doing supervised exercises. Now, they did leave me with a list of exercises to do. They are, with one exception, exercises I'm already doing that aren't a problem. So uh, I just have to work on this other exercise and see how it comes out. So anyway, that's where that is. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go upstairs and uh, I'll set the camera up and show you some of the details of my mobility right now and just one or two of the relatively simple exercises that I'm doing. Now, uh, so that I don't scare anybody away, uh, I am just wearing a bathrobe and a shirt under the bathrobe. No trousers. <laughs> but uh, you're, and that's so that the physical therapist could see my leg. And so that's what you're going to see is my leg. I'll push the bathrobe out of the way so you can see where my leg is. And we'll have a look at it and see what it looks like today on day three after surgery. So let's go up and I'll show you what's going on. Here we go. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed, which I raised up about five and a half inches to make it easier to get in and out of. Here's a walker, which uh, we use for uh, mobility, but uh, I did have to make a change with the walker here and I'll show you what that change is right now. I use it over here to hang things from because I can get up and walk around without any trouble. As you can see, I can walk around and that's easy. So uh, basically what we're going to, what I'm doing is I'm not using the walkers anymore. I, I use them for you know, a couple of hours on the first day and then I quit. I discovered that I can walk just fine and I can get on and off the bed without any trouble. Getting into bed is pretty easy. I sit down. This is the operative knee here on the right side. See it's all wrapped up right now. It has an ice pack on it. And to get into bed I just rotate like that and I'm in bed. And to get out, I reverse it and stand up. <laughs> so it's very, I'm doing really well as far as mobility is concerned. I can walk anywhere in the house. I make my breakfast, carry it over to my chair, feed the cat, all of the essentials. And uh, things are working out really well. So um, the main thing, though, for the next few weeks is going to be physical therapy and exercises to rebuild strength in my knee and get my range of motion improved. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of those uh, that I'm doing, and I'm doing these exercises four to six times a day now, and I'll just show you what they're like. Now, right now, the bulk of the exercises are done lying down on the bed. So I'm going to lie down, 
and demonstrate a couple of them. And these exercises at this stage are really very simple. Unfortunately, the sun is right in my face. The first one that I do multiple times during the day here or sitting any place I happen to be is called an ankle pump. And that's just, if you look down at my foot, that is an ankle pump. And the purpose of this is it does strengthen your calf muscles a little. And it also gets blood moving to cut down on swelling. So, you know, I'll normally do, oh, 25 to 30 of these in a session. I'm not doing a full session here, so I'm not going to continue with that. The next exercise that I do is a pretty straightforward one, and that's a knee extension exercise to get my knee completely straight. And I, what I do is I pull my toes up and I push down with my knee. One, two, three, four, five, and release. And repeat. One, two, three, four, five. And I do 10 repetitions. So that's a very easy exercise. The next exercise that I'm doing now is, let's see if I can do this without getting too exposed, is a leg lift. Notice I've got my leg up here. And I'm just going to do a straight leg lift with my toes pulled toward me. And just up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. And I do 10 repetitions of that. That's a pretty easy exercise. It does put some stress on the knee, and that does hurt just the tiniest bit. Now the next exercise I do is another very simple one, and that's a side extension, where I take my leg, move it off to the side, and bring it back. Move it off to the side, bring it back. Off to the side, bring it back. And 10 repetitions of that. Now we get to the hard exercises. These are not difficult to do, but these are the ones that hurt. And this is what's called an ankle slide. Uh, and basically I'm just going to pull my foot toward me and bend my knee. And this gets really tight right about here and starts to hurt. And I just go and hold. And then straighten my leg out. And I repeat it. And go up as far as I can. And hold. And straighten my leg out. And I do 10 repetitions of that. Now the final exercise I do lying on my back is a new one that the physical therapist just gave me today that I had not, I have not tried yet, so I don't know how this is going to work. And in this one, I pull my feet up like that, and I'm just going to lift myself off the bed a little. And that caused my leg, my left leg, to cramp up a little. Maybe I'll try again. Let's lift up. And hold. Lift up and down. So that's pretty straightforward. One exercise that uh, I forgot is called a gluteal clench. Basically, you pull your toes up and clench your gluteal muscles, your butt, and hold it and release. And do 10 reps of that. So those are the main exercises that I do lying down on the bed. And there's one other exercise that I'm doing, which I'll show you right now. Okay, this is the final exercise I'm doing. And you can see my leg. Here's the dressing. And I'm pretty bruised down on the bottom part of my leg. This exercise is pretty simple. Let me tilt the camera down a little more so you can see it better. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is bend my knee as far as I can. Now, 
I'll hook my left foot in front of my ankle and pull my knee back. And then just scoop forward a little and get more bend in my knee. Like that. And then after about five seconds, I let it go and straighten my leg. And I repeat that ten times. So those are the exercises I'm doing. I'm not having any trouble with them. The final seated knee bend is the most difficult one. Uh, it does strain the knee quite a bit, but it isn't too bad. And uh, I'm able to do it without any problems. And I am getting to about 110 degrees of knee bend when I do that, which considering that I can extend my knee perfectly straight and bend it to about 110 degrees on the third day after surgery, I mean, I came out of surgery about 10.30 on Tuesday, and it's currently about 2 o'clock on Friday, is really pretty good. And the fact that I can walk around without the walker is also really pretty good. And I can go up and down the stairs without any trouble. So I'm really happy with the progress so far. And as I'm sitting here right now, my knee is bent about 75 degrees. Let me bend it a little more. Yeah, it's bent about 90 degrees. There's a little pressure in it, but it doesn't really hurt. It's just tight. And as I sit here, it, that tightness will gradually go away and I'll be able to bend it a little more. So these exercises, you know, I don't think they're difficult, but uh, you know, some people may have a harder time than I am. And so far, just ibuprofen and uh, acetaminophen is controlling my pain almost completely. The only issue I've had is that I have had some issues with swelling in my leg, largely associated with uh, my chair that I used to generally sit in quite a bit, uh, not being easily adjustable to get my leg up high enough relative to my heart. So anyway, three days out and I'm doing pretty well. And I did achieve one milestone this morning that I couldn't really believe. And that is at the on the first step at the bottom of the stairs, I was able to step onto the step with the surgical leg and step up and you know lift my body up onto that step. Uh, as opposed to stepping up with the non-surgical leg and then lifting myself that way. So I think that as my recovery continues, I'm going to gradually uh, get more and more strength in the right leg and better bending or flexure and extension. Well, I'm already there for extension, uh, perfectly straight, and uh, we'll just keep working on it. And I'm pretty happy right now. There is one issue though, and that is I finally got access to some data uh, from Wednesday morning. They took some blood and did a hemoglobin test. And Wednesday morning, my hemoglobin was really low in 11 and a half range, which is way below the normal range, which is 14 to 16. And that's a consequence of the bleeding that I had during the surgery and after and the several liters of intravenous fluids they put into my bloodstream really dropped my hemoglobin quite a lot. And so I'm trying to eat a lot of high iron food. You know, we'll have broccoli with dinner tonight and pork chops and things like that to get a little more iron into my system and build that hemoglobin back up to where it should be. You know, it really dropped. And I do notice it a little bit, like to set up for this video, I came all the way up from the ground floor to up here, the third floor. And I was feeling a little, you know, ugh, from that, from climbing uh, 24 stairs. But, you know, it's uh, uh, getting better every day. And you know, I hope that the pain management stays the way it is. I mean, right now I can feel a little tightness in my leg, which is currently bent at just about 90 degrees. And uh, basically that's it. No pain.
just that little tightness in the leg for some muscles that aren't happy. Now, before I finish, I will say one thing. We'll take a look at my leg. For the surgery, they cut a big long incision on the top of my leg and the front of my leg and opened it up. And then they cut into the muscles and tissue on the side here uh, so they could pull the kneecap out of the way to get act to open up the joint to get access to it. And because of that, underneath the skin here, uh, there is a ton of stitching holding things back together. And that has uh, that is feels really tight when I go to bend my knee. Right now, if I bend my knee a little more, it feels really, really tight right now, but I'm past 90 degrees, which is really good. And I can improve, increase that even a little more by just scooching forward a little and getting my knee bend pretty much uh, maximized for right now. Right now, I'm probably, oh, around 100 degrees of knee band. And yeah, my leg feels really tight, but other than the tightness, there really isn't any pain. So we'll straighten it out. Uh, after holding that for over a minute, <laughs> and voila. So that's where I am on day three, post total knee replacement in my right knee. Everything is working pretty well. I'm able to walk around the house. Now, I don't think I want to go outside and go for a half mile walk, but I can walk around the house, not completely normally, but without the walker, without a cane or anything like that, which is a huge boost to my mobility and everything. And a great relief to my wife who doesn't have to keep bringing me things all the time. When I say, oh, honey, I forgot such and such. Could you bring it to me? Now, there's still a little bit of that, but much less than there would be if I was dependent on a walker or, or something like that to get around the house where I couldn't really carry anything when I'm using a walker. Okay, that's where I am today, three days post-surgery. Thanks for watching. If you found it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope that my recovery continues at the same pace that it's been going at for the last three days.